Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to my channel. When you don't have the budget to shoot in a city, what you can do is bring the city to you using a set extension. And that's what we'll be creating in this tutorial today. So we'll take a static shot, we will add buildings in the background, and then we will also add a plane. And we'll do all of this using the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. OK, here we are. We're on the Edit page in DaVinci Resolve. And I've got a clip here, and you can find a link to this clip in the description. And I've just taken the first five seconds of this clip and I've brought it onto the timeline. So now I'm going to right click on it and go up to new fusion clip. And then I'll click on the fusion tab. OK, so we've got our video clip and our media out. So I'm going to rename this media in and I will call this one. I'll just call it video clip. Just so I can keep track of things. OK, so what we want to do is to cut out the buildings. So we're going to cut around this kind of area. Yeah, just cut around these. I'm not going to be too perfect with it. I'm not going to worry about some of these aerials because, you know, people don't know they're there anyway. So, you know, no one will care um, as long as it doesn't look weird. OK, so to do that, we will click on our video clip and then we will come up here to our toolbar and we want to add this polygon mask. So click on this and then I'm going to invert it so that I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm basically going to go around the buildings and then up around there and then remove the sky, just leaving the buildings. OK, so we'll zoom in here on the left where we're going to start and We'll just click and as I say, I'm not going to worry too much about these aerials. So I'll just kind of go around these. Maybe I'll keep that one. And of course, we can come back and we can refine this later on. So again, I'm going to go around here. Let's maybe keep these, whatever they are, water heaters or something. And but I'll chop off these because we don't really care about those. OK, so what I'm going to do now is uh, continue going around these buildings. So I'll speed this up so you don't get too bored. All right, and then when you get to the end here, so you need to click on your hover over your first point and then you'll see it turns into a circle and then you can click and that will then complete your mask. So as you can see, what we've got here now is just uh, the buildings without this sky because we're going to add our own thing there and behind it. So, OK, so we'll just save that um, and what we can also do is add a very small soft edge to uh, to this mask. Now, I don't want anything too much. I'm just going to maybe add like something very small um, just to give it just a little soft edge. OK, and I'm now going to add a transform after this uh, video clip. Oops, no, I don't want that one. Go up there. All right. So I'm going to add a transform here after this. And um, this transform, we're going to change our center Y position because we want to move this down a bit. So we'll come up here to this and we'll adjust our center Y. So I'm going to adjust this to 0.23. OK, so now we need to add our buildings in behind. So let's prepare our skyscraper image. Come up here again to the media pool. And I've got an image here, Panama. So we'll bring that into the flow and close that up. And let's rename this as well. So to rename, you just right click and you go to rename. You can also press F2 and that will do the same thing. So there you can see F2. So we'll rename this skyscrapers. OK. And then what we need to do to this skyscraper image is because it's a different size to our composition, which is 
1920 by 1080 and this skyscraper image is much bigger. We want this skyscraper image to take the size of our composition. And so to do that, we're going to add it over a background because the background there will then force our skyscraper image to be the, the correct size for our composition. So we've done that and then we can merge this in here to the flow. So basically what we've done is we've added our skyscrapers to a background, merged those together and then merged it in to the flow here. But of course now if you look at it you can see that our skyscrapers are in front and of course we want them to be behind. So to do that you need to come down here and hit command or alt. Yeah, if you're on a PC it's alt, on a Mac it's command. Click on the merge and then hit T and that will toggle between the foreground and the background basically. So then you can change the inputs. Okay, so this is how we want it here. And now we just need to position then our, um, our composition. So we want to position our skyscrapers. Okay, so to do that, let's add, a, after this merge, we'll add a transform node. So grab this transform node. And then we're going to zoom and move our skyscrapers around. Okay, so let's come up here and we'll go to the inspector, select our transform node here. And first of all, let's zoom in a bit. And then let's just kind of move these around until we get them kind of where we think they should go here. So let's maybe make them a bit bigger. I'm going to do like something like this. And let's change our center X here. I'm going to do 0 0.833. And I'm going to have these kind of this side of it. And then my center Y, I will change to 0 0.288. Okay. And that gives us the position then that we want these in. Now, of course you can move these wherever you want but I think that kind of works quite well there. And it kind of focuses our attention then on this kind of group of buildings there in the center. Okay, so that's fine. So that we can zoom in here and we can look at our edge and make sure we think our edge is okay. And if we've got anything that looks a bit weird that uh, we can see actually, well, I've cut these aerials off and actually no one really notices anything. Yeah, no one really cares. Um, and again, I kind of cut the back of this off, but again, I don't think anyone will really notice. But if you want to go back in and edit this, then you can. And to do that, you can just go back to your polygon here and you'll see you get these bits here that you can then adjust. So maybe I'll adjust this one so it's more of an angle, something like that. And, and then I'll go back here. And so, yeah, just adjust it. If you think it doesn't look quite right, then you can adjust these around until you get it how you want it. Okay, so let's now add in our plane. So come up here to the media pool. And we've got a file here called plane final. So we'll drag that down. Let's close our media pool. Make some room. And let's rename this to plane. And I click on OK. And with this plane, we don't need to add a background because I've already made this plane the correct aspect ratio for our project. So we can just merge this in like that. Whoops. Let's try that again. Merge this in. And it creates a merge. Okay. Obviously, it's a bit big, so we need to add a transform. So after our plane, click up here on transform. And then we can go over here to the inspector. And we'll zoom this out and then we'll position it where we think it should go. So maybe something like that. And I'm also going to adjust this angle value just to look like, make it look like it's kind of going up in the sky there. All right. And now what we can do after our plane here is add a Kia. So here we'll type in DEL and that brings up the Delta Kia. I'll add that. And then we'll come over here to the inspector and there's a color picker. So left click on that color picker, come over here and drop it next to the plane. Let's zoom in. And what we can see is we've got kind of lots of um, unnecessary stuff around the plane. So 
to get rid of that, and we're going to adjust the level. Come here to the map tab, and we'll change the threshold. So we'll bring this up, maybe we'll drop this down slightly, and that removes all that kind of stuff around. And what we'll do now is we'll try to blend it in a little bit more. So click on the merge and go here to apply mode. And I'm going to change that to multiply. And then I'm going to reduce the gain and I'm going to reduce the blend as well. And the idea is that I want it to look like it's kind of going up in the clouds like this. OK, so let's just play that and see what it looks like. OK, maybe we can move it up slightly as well. So let's just grab it, move it up. And let's play that again. OK, I think that looks all right. Um, so the final thing we need to do is color correct. OK, so if we look here at our background, we can see that these uh, skyscrapers are a different color to our foreground. So what we need to do is change the color of these. And I'm just going to use a white balance for this. So after our merge, we will add a white balance. And to do that, do shift space, type in white, and then add this white balance. And if you come up here, you can see there are two options, custom and temperature. Now I want temperature, and I'm just going to warm it up just a little bit something like this, not too much. So now if we zoom out and I can show you the difference. So this is with it off. So the building's a little bit cold and this is with it on. OK, and we can adjust this again if we need to. All right. And the last thing I want to do is add a bit of a blur to these skyscrapers because I think maybe they're a little bit sharp. And so let's make some room here and let's move all these things here up. So I'm going to add a blur here after the transform. So again, here we can click on blur. And I will just add here a very small amount of blur, maybe 0.2. So just a little bit. That's all we really need. And OK, that's it. We're finished. So let's go back here to the Edit tab and play back and look at our final set extension. So if you imagine this being on screen for five seconds as an establishing shot in a movie or something, then you'd probably be convinced by it. OK, I hope you learned something interesting for this video, maybe something new. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.